Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Hello. I'm Mike Delicio. Not sure. <laughs> that was an intro. We had not that? seen that intro. Yeah, that was good. It was, <laughs> you find yourself carrying a bunch of pool noodles, right? As you do. I, I just don't understand. I think what those happened. were all pipes, but okay. I just think it was very oh, I funny. I they were pool noodles, they too. They looked like pool noodles to me. It looked like pipe. Pl- Roll the intro <laughs> again. No, no, don't. No, don't. Um, yeah, yeah. It's just funny that he's gumming in slow motion yeah, looking yeah. very good, and yeah, then yeah. like, oh, no. no. They are pool noodles. They might have broken his fall. <laughs> that is true. If you land on them. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You land on the pipes. It. Yeah, one of the Twitter feeds I subscribed to, I think I'm going to unsubscribe soon because it keeps showing... That sort of thing. Just and people after a while, getting hurt and things like that. Or like one guy tried to push a forklift that was moving backwards while a car was moving towards it. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> yeah. All right, folks. Top 10 gorgeous stinkers. So this is the opposite of a list that we did in the past. We did uh, games that are beautiful on the inside. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and so we talked about games that were, in our opinion, ugly, mm-hmm. but they were fun games. Mm-hmm. This is the opposite. These are games that we think look great, mm-hmm. but not fun. Now, I posted the People's Choice poll, which we will show later on in the episode, um, on our Facebook group. And there was a lot of comments. So before we start, I want to say a couple things about this. Um, oh, here we go. I'm, no, I'm going to be a little serious here for a moment. Okay, okay. We do get, tend to get silly and stuff yeah. in these top tens. But I want to start off by saying there was people like, oh, you shouldn't do negative lists and things. Well, first of all, the vast majority of our top tens are positive. Right. Just mm. go through and look at them. The vast majority are positive. And... This is slightly tongue in cheek. <laughs> and this list is half positive. We are saying these games look good. Sure. There's, that's like, you look good, but you have a bad personality. Um, There's also, it's <laughs> so subjective. It really is. That was my next both, point. Both right. aspects of them. Okay, Correct. I get it. You might look at it and go, that is not an attractive game, and we think they're attractive. But also, a lot of my choices are games that are. Unbelievably popular. <laughs> they don't they, like. I'm not doing anything by being like. I think this is a stinker. And those games are doing just fine. Many of them are mm-hmm. anyway. Yeah. Right. And I think though that it is helpful if we do this. I don't. I. I personally believe if you were always positive about everything and say everything's great, then you saying something's great isn't useful. But we don't have to preface this I'm, I'm going to say this now everything on our list is in our opinion of course. we just said the same thing of course we don't need to say in every every point <laughs> right. number nine in my opinion is bad right if I say a game is bad I don't believe that's fact right sure I just yeah. think that for me and also if you love these games also you haven't heard of a couple of mine and I'm going to get garbage for that. But <laughs> I've got a couple You're going to get garbage stories. for a lot of things. This, <laughs> this is true. This is true. You're going to get garbage. You're going to get garbage. You're the golden boy. Worst I'm going to get a bunch of garbage. <laughs> All right. Woo. With that being said, Here we go. I'm glad I don't go first. Here we go. All right, number 10. Gloom, gloom here. Well, in my opinion, Tom, no. All right, so my number 10 <laughs> is uh, a new game, and I don't believe either of you have played it. You don't know me like that. <laughs> yeah, and don't think you didn't put that up there as a troll to I me. I was just pulling random games uh-huh. off the shelf. Yeah, okay. My number 10 is Horizon Zero Dawn. This is a game that I didn't really have any background to the video game, but when I saw this, I was taken by, I like this cover. I like the look of the game. I love the theme, Mm -hmm. right? And it actually caused me to look into the video game. And the miniatures, I'm assuming, are amazing. The miniatures are fantastic. Fantastic. And and the art on the cards, I think, are really nice. Everything about this game had me excited about playing it. And then I played it, and it did not work for me at all. I mean, it, it's one of those games, it's a, it's a semi-co-op game, and it has all of the messiness that you can tend to find in semi-co-op games. It felt, uh, to me, a bit unbalanced, uh, where, where some cards seemed clearly better than others. And again, I haven't played it enough. I'm not stating this as objective fact, but to me, <laughs> it felt off. I said we weren't going to do that! I know, but it felt off, right? The, 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 it it felt it off trash. the first time in I played opinion. it. In your opinion. Yeah. <laughs> And then the next time I played it, that didn't go away. It felt even more uh, off uh, the second time I played it. Also, um, what are my other little notes? Oh, yes. I played the retail box. Okay, This is a huge Kickstarter campaign. And when you get the 
Kickstarter, you get 55,000 boxes, and I'm sure there's enough content there if you like the game to play it. The retail box felt absolutely incomplete, which is a lot of people's huh. experience for the game is going to be playing the retail box. You're hunting monsters, right? That's the theme of the game. You come with one monster to hunt. Really? One monster to oh, hunt boom. in that retail box. And so, yeah, I had significant issues mm -hmm. with the game, although I think it looks gorgeous. And a lot of people are going to be interested in it because of the theme, but this one did not work at all for me, and I was pretty disappointed. This actually makes me, this is not on my list, but this made me think of a point that when I made my list... I, I, I did a max of one game per company. Oh, um, okay. I not, did not think about that at all. <laughs> um, well, I didn't want to pile on. I mean, yeah, some companies, yeah. are, all their games look great. Sure. Therefore, by very nature, they're going to have they're more of the have games on this list. Like. Yeah, sure. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know. I didn't think about that I whatsoever. I thought so. about it with, in Steamforge's case because they make really good-looking yeah, games. Yeah. Every single one of their games looks good. All their games look good. <laughs> Over to you. Uh, all right. Well, my number 10 is a uh, Bruno Catala game. Wait, what? That I was really excited for. I um, It sounded neat. It had a cool, like, spy theme. Dun, 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 dun. The game's called Dr. Shark. Oh, you went there. And it's a Bowser game, too. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very cool-looking game. And the gameplay <laughs> is... Basically about reaching into a bag, light shower, uh -huh. and feeling a tile. <laughs> it might be a fuzzy tile. It might be fuzzy. It might be a little spiky. <laughs> it might be literally anything because you can't feel the difference. <laughs> that's the whole point of the game, right? It's the whole the point of the game is to be yeah. able to reach in there and be like, I think this is a spiky one. <laughs> you pull it out. You're wrong. The, the issue with that... I think is even more problematic than in something like uh, a Trivial Pursuit. Okay, Trivial Pursuit is a one parameter thing. Yeah. You yeah, know yeah. the answer, mm -hmm. the, the answer, the, uh, mm -hmm. you know the answer, or you don't know it and that's it. Right. In this one, you can tell the difference, and if you can, you can tell the difference every time, right, right. or you cannot, and you cannot tell the difference <laughs> every time. ever. Yeah. There's, there's one, I forget what it is, there's one that's easy to tell in this bag. It's like a leathery one, one yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. like a leathery one that you can tell, and all the other ones could be the same thing, could all be different. Mm -hmm. You could punk me and replace them all, and right. I'd be like, oh, I think it's the fuzzy one, and you'd be like, there aren't any fuzzy ones mm -hmm. left. It just doesn't work that well. Yeah. It does have a shark cast in it, though, Z. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool-looking game, of this game, but I is, love the theme. The theme of this game is there's all this stuff at the bottom of the pool. You're at a big spy party, <laughs> and you're all secretly <laughs> diving in the pool when no one notices right, to course. crap stuff up. I actually, this one has dropped for me. When I first played it, I was, I think, taken by the uniqueness it's of so it. It's silly, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. The silliness of the theme. But you're right. It's, it, it's doesn't, th it doesn't work. It doesn't work that it was, well. You, you tell it was an idea they were sitting around, oh, this would be fun, and it just they couldn't pull it off. Nah, nah. Yeah. All right. So uh, one thing on my list, these are games I clearly don't like. So there's a couple great games that I think are just okay. Mm -hmm. They didn't make this list. All my games are ranked five or less. And I picked the difference in them is how far up it goes. Oh, like okay. the, And also how much I was excited about them. Anyway, this was the... The one that most people have not heard of on this list. Mm. But I remember I was super excited for this one when it first was announced, I don't know, 15 years ago. It's from Descartes. The company no longer exists. Oh, wait. Mm. Hmm? It's from them? Yes. It, this was not so much... Has it been reprinted? No. It's, it's, it's a colorful game. Super colorful mm. game. And I like color. Phoenix? Yeah, Phoenix. Oh, because, like I said, boom! Like I said, fool. One These are supposed to be, and I'm not look, necessarily going. Good, though, right I'm now? not saying by the cover. No, I'm just saying because oh, the cover. Well, this was a '90s cover, you know, oh, whatever. Okay. Or I guess the that cover is. I really fire. I no, I don't care what Mike says. <laughs> I love colorful games, and I was super pumped about this one because I thought there, there's colorful cards mixing this stuff. I was really pumped, and it's the good quality of this stuff. Okay, okay. I haven't played it, so I'm just. The, co the, the yeah, picture I hate is, not, is not lovely. I, I hate the game. It's yeah. about maneuvering these pegs around to match these colors in the middle of the board. It's like total luck, total just back and forth. And I was I was so disappointed by this mm. one. This one is very low ranked on my list. and But it has the lowest of the how great the game looks. But sure. uh, this is a Tom Vassell thing, <laughs> which I said I wouldn't say. <laughs> but I, I have to defend myself here because I know it doesn't look as good as the rest of the games on my list. But I really like color. Okay. And that's a shock. I like colorful things. Yeah. And that... that I, I'm annoyed by that. 
All right, let's move on to bigger, it's better a deep games. Deep cut, man. Deep cut. That is deep is. cut, but it was on my list. All right. All right, so my number nine was a game that uh, flew under the radar a little bit, and that's a pun. Huh? It's about birds. It oh. is about birds. Wingspan. This is a game about birds, and it's a beautiful, colorful game. <gasps> is it that AEG one? It is. You remember? What's that called? Mariposas. Flocked. Flock. Oh, oh, I didn't yeah. even think about this one. This is a good choice. Yeah, yeah. This is a game that I was so... Th this was way before Wingspan. I was very enamored by the that theme. That cover is and great. the cover is gorgeous. And the, and the, the little wooden... I'm replacing Phoenix with this. Yeah, look at the... I mean, who doesn't no, want to play do this that. game, right? It's it's <laughs> This is your number one. Restart the video. All right, play I mean, that intro again. Let's see the noodles. <laughs> <laughs> But it's got these great little wooden components. It's got beautiful, colorful art. It's a really gorgeous looking game. Very inviting, right? I, Z looks unconvinced, but it's very nice. I've seen on the, the table. I never played it. No, yeah, I never yeah. played it, I think. It's convoluted, and for a game that really comes down to a very, very simple worker placement slash kind of area majority game, it was clunky and I thought I was elegant. playing it wrong yeah. for the longest time. I was like, there's got to be something to this game. Yeah, it, it just was like, it sh you, you read the rules and you're like, I don't know that I know how to play this game. Mm -hmm. It feels like it's very simple, but then when you actually sit down and play it, it's it, it just it doesn't click. It's very unintuitive, clunky rules, more complex than it should be for as simple as the game really is at heart. It was a big disappointment for me, but it looks so pretty. Looks like Pixar did the yeah, artwork almost, and yeah, just uh, a gorgeous. Game. I was so pumped about this me game too. when they announced me it. Me too. So yeah, it was a, it was a bummer, but uh, didn't work for me. That's nine. Flock. Hmm. There should have been seagulls in it, too, to be honest. But I'll let that go. The sequel, actually, the expansion was going to be of seagulls. Correct, right? Just call it that. Yep. Of, of mice and seagulls. <laughs> but they never did well enough. Mm -mm. My number nine is a whole series of games, but I'm, <gasps> I'm picking one of them. And these are very highly regarded games. Mm -hmm. They do well. I think they're very popular. I'm talking about Dungeons & Dragons, Castle Ravenloft, Legends of whatever, uh, the elemental. Man, juice. nothing I can say. I'm good. I'm good for this. List. <laughs> I do the not system. like these games. Mm. I think they are fiddly. <laughs> I think they are True. imprecise. Yes. I have a big problem with you telling me when my monster spawns, it spawns in this room. Where in the room? Mm. In one of the squares. <laughs> Which one? It makes a difference. Sure, just the one that's farthest from you. That's what I do. That's what you do. Yeah, that is what you do because the rule book doesn't tell you. <laughs> I have a major problem with a game that, especially when it's so. There's a grid yeah, yeah. in the game. Right. Well, that's because the monsters move per area, you move per square. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was clever myself. That's fine. It's clever. They move, you know, basically wow, however many squares it takes to get from one area right, to another right. one is what, is what they move. Sure. But I need to know where they are in the room because I move per squares. Mm -hmm. Do yeah. I put it anywhere? You should say that. Do I put it as far away from me? Should it be advantageous to me? You should say that. Do I throw it in the trash? <laughs> You don't have to say that because I already I got, did. I got like half a shelf here in the library. Yeah, you do. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, um, yeah, I never, I just never was able to get into these. Yeah. I found them lackluster. And I think for you as a gamer, you don't like kind of the the wishy washy. You want oh, you want at all. in in any game I've played with you, it's like you want things to be concrete. This is how it works, right? This does have a little bit of looseness to it. I just, I, I, I'm sorry. It's I don't so mind that easy. as much in a co-op game, maybe yeah. because we all agree this is where it goes. I don't think the rules are that loose. That's the only thing I can think of, anyway. Also, I love these the games. The game's just, uh, uh, I, there was nothing here interesting for me that any other game wasn't doing and wasn't doing in a more interesting package. This had D and D. If yeah, we ever do a top ten games that I like, but I'm not surprised other people don't. Yeah, <laughs> I might do that someday. Yeah, um, this would be it's on a, that list. It's a good title. Like yeah. Wrath of Charlotte, I'm like, oh yeah, I like it. I don't know if you will though. Yeah, that's, I have sure. a few games like sure. that too, for sure. Anyway, D and D Castle Ravenloft, 
Dunzo. Dunzo. Right. This is my last obscure one. Well, last. Here we go. This one came out in eighty something. Whoa! But when I was a kid, I used to go to the stores and I would see this every once in a while, and I thought it was the most grand-looking game. I love the Axis and Ally series. Uh, um, oh. And Fortress America, and this one looked better because it was in space. Oh. Wait, wait. And then I wait, finally wait. played it, and think. it's trash. Let me think. It's space sells, trash. It's trash in the twenty-fifth century. <laughs> Actually, it's Buck Rogers. Yes, Buck Rogers, and I think oh, Buck Rogers wow. looks amazing. Okay. You have not the cover. I mean, the cover is sure, a product sure. of its That's time. 80s, yeah. But you have these big space rings, and these you're moving around the space rings, and it looks like a big attacking game. And this game is terrible. Wow. It's. I mean, look at that. Ah, I want to play it now, and I know it's bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know that's a bad game, and it, it looks amazing right well, there. Well, in your mm -hmm. opinion, it's bad. No! <laughs> Fact! <laughs> the game is a Also, game. check it's rating on Board Game Geek. Okay. <laughs> I'm not alone in thinking this. Okay. I really like Buck Rogers, the look of it. I like the theming of sure, it. Sure, sure. Um, that idea where these planets might move around and mm. you have to connect them sounds great. Looks like it has a big toy uh, factor, too. Yes. Yeah. Man... I wasted a lot of my youth wanting this game. Had I known, I could have wasted it on wanting something else. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, it didn't make my list, but my number 11 would have been Merchant of Venus. Wow. <laughs> I wish it had been. Man. <laughs> Merchant of Venus. Mm -hmm. It's very much, I'm getting this kind of vibe looking at this sure, now. Sure, Is this big, epic, you know, mm -hmm. cool-looking, immersive thing. And I'm sorry, it's it's not good. Well, in two weeks, in some yeah, spectacular, right. I will allow you to say that again <laughs> to Eric Summers' face. I'll be happy to do. We it. should do top ten list. Top ten games Eric Summers wrong about with him sitting right there. Can we make it a top oh, 50? Like, ooh, like a Dice Tower roast? Oh, ho, 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 ho. you're talking about Dice Tower roast kind of thing. Oh. I'm always afraid of these roasts. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, in, in like a week, you can pass it off as your own idea. Most, of our, <laughs> <Let's go. clears throat> Most of our lists are positive, folks. <laughs>you Well, my number eight, this is a pretty obscure game, but the, as soon as I saw it, I was so taken with the look of it. I thought it was just a gorgeous little game. It, and I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I believe it's called Kiwetin or Kowetin. Kowetin? Oh, this looks cute. This came through, right? Yeah, you may. It, I may have. I don't know. I, I actually never saw it through. This came it? through. Yeah, who touched yeah it? I. I, uh, I don't know who touched it. That's yeah. a weird question. But <laughs> this was before I worked here. I, I either I can't I remember if I did. backed it or if I bought it. But Maybe it I've is. seen this online. Then I, I recognize this cover. Yeah, this is a gorgeous little game. Oh, I like it. Isn't I don't care what you say. Right? That's and, a great and, game. And it's got pre-painted minis, which are what? Really, yeah, no, this did not come through here. No, yeah, no. yeah. It is a no, gorgeous little game. I was thinking of something else. But unfortunately, what it really comes down to is a game. Where you, it's a roll and move where there's almost no decisions to be made. Wait, Tom wait, would still like it because yeah. he likes that one racing game. Yeah. It, this one, one hurts called? because. Magic Maze? I mean, no. Magical Athlete? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. This looks like Magical Athlete. Yeah. Magical Athlete ain't making this list. No. In fact, it's it should have ugly, made, though. It made the last list. Because <laughs> it's true. ugly, though. But this looks pretty, but it yeah. looks like Magical Athlete. It does. Yeah. It, That's the way Magical Athlete's board should have looked. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous, but it's so random. You have these little tiles that you put face down on, uh, to begin the game, and you flip them over, and something's going to happen. It might move you back four spaces. It might switch. You know, someone might be way ahead of you, and you flip over something that makes you switch spots. You know, it's just one of those take that -y, very random. If you win, you don't necessarily feel like you won because you did anything well. You just happened to be the one that got to the end. Um, okay. It's a shame because it's such a gorgeous looking game with a neat theme. I'm really struggling because this is I feel like you're lying that no, game looks I amazing I, I always feel that way but he's probably <laughs> telling the truth you're like holding on to these leaves and you're trying to get to the next branch I mean it's a really neat idea and a beautiful looking game but I tell you the truth by the time you got done you'd be like yeah it's unfortunately there's nothing there there's no real game there which is a shame because <laughs> it looks beautiful I I'm will say this we have got to retire the term take that ish yeah, okay. How about take that style? Well, I want to know who started that term, and they should be slapped. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I've seen those videos from uh, Russia. 
Slap me. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking no, about. No, where the guys slap each other's arms. Like, oh, I showed the, you the, one. The slapping oh, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. a weird, yes, <laughs> yes, that's a thing. All right, so that was my number eight, right? Yes. Kowitan. My number eight is a uh, game that just came up in conversation recently. I don't know why. Maybe you were talking about it in the Q&A or something. This is a game about uh, putting together monsters, I guess. It's called Abomination, oh. the rehearsal for Frankenstein's dinner. Uh, I was on my shelf. <laughs> my shelf of, the uh, Air Frankenstein. No, that's that's it. great. I just bought this game. Fantastic. Um, this is a big, epic, dark-looking, you know, like this game looks like you're about to do some... Look at that. Look at that cover. God, the the board. It's, you know... It just looks like you're really going to do some interesting mechanical things and whoa, bring monsters to life and all that. And it's just so slow and disgusting in the wrong way in many cases. Like, they really go to town showing you, like, you stole lungs from a corpse. <laughs> well, like, you also kill people and steal their Yeah, you do <laughs> that too, yeah, yeah. But also then, like, that that aspect of it, coupled with a game that just feels very, the progression is quite measured, I just found it to be way too long and way too slow. It was not fun, and I didn't want to live in that world that long yeah. and do the things I was doing that slowly. I felt like, man, I gotta just go get like a medical degree at this point, <laughs> instead of sitting here and continuing to sort of take this slow. The people agonizing who like it setting. really like it. There's a lot of folks I know do like it, and that's gonna be true for a lot of my games. But yeah. in my <laughs> <laughs> so. The list I said we were going to say, right. we're saying it more than normal. Yeah. Although, Z, you're not clearly not the only person that feels this way because I think the designer actually made a shorter version because people were complaining about it. So really? Much. Yes. Yeah. Like. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So that right. seems to happen a lot. It does. There's, there's at least one game on my list. To me. That's happened the same thing. for two of the games on my list that yeah. has happened. For yeah, me. I believe that's going to be the case with some where, of mine, where the designers are things like, okay, I said, okay. I'm not saying it was me, but like generally yeah. people said they were fixed later on. <laughs> Slap me. <laughs> um, anyway, Frankenstein, Abomination, the Air Frankenstein. Mm. I think Z likes my number eight. I love it. <laughs> this is a pretty pickup and delivery game. Yes. Oh, I'm in already. Which I thought I would like. Yes, and I took. Have. I said one thing in the review that people <laughs> latched onto. I said you could do nothing and pass the whole game and score a decent you score. You were wrong. You were wrong. You cannot <laughs> win that way. I'm just saying you could do well that way. How's that? You cannot do well. <laughs> anyway, the game's Bombay. Oh, Bombay. Oh. Never mind. I was thinking of something else. <laughs> no, no. That's definitely it. Bombay no, that's ridiculous, these... Tom. If you pass... <laughs> Meaning, you get a coin when you pass, uh -huh. right? You are not moving if you pass. I understand that, but this game is a pickup and delivery game where it's so much work to pick this up up and deliver it. It feels like you're putting no effort, but it has amazing <sighs> elephants. And when you get the cubes, you put them in those elephants. Oh, Dang, the it's really cool. I'm in. I, this is one I think of those you would actually like it. <laughs> this is one of those games that it's. I have very few games I regret having let go at some point. This is one I regret having let go. Mm. This was a good Istari game, and it felt different from a lot of their games. Yeah. Well, that's because it's what's called Bombay and not Bombay's. Um, <laughs> Bombs Bay. <laughs> Bombs Bay. <laughs> no. Anyhow, again, I really accept I'm the outlier here, yeah, although yeah. this game did not sell tremendously well. It did anyway. not, but this mm. is, I just this is a did, good game. I couldn't get into this, but man, when, that cover's great. Yeah. The board is great. But it's those elephants with the cubes, man. Yeah, those I think that's so amazing,ly good. fun yeah. looking. It's uh, left so, so to play. You're so wrong. Well, it's okay. One. You're going to agree with me on like three others, so uh, we can accept our one difference that we've ever had on any top ten list. Correct. No. Give it to us, Mike. All right. So here's where art is in the eye of the beholder because I think this game is gorgeous. I played it with you and not only did you dislike the game, but you didn't think it looked good either. This is the island of El Dorado and please understand this is not the quest for El Dorado. This is not the Rainer Knizia game. So this is a well, game. Well, this one's also by Rainer Knizia. It is not by Rainer Knizia. <laughs> Which you don't realize. No. He's done most games. <laughs> this, well, that's true, but not this one. The yeah. box is nice. Well, I mean, look, there's no art on the cover, but the actual game itself has some really nice resin. It's that resin. Victorian. I love it. I think stuff, it but it's all jammed together. It's, there's no cohesive. 
I love the way the game looks. Anyway, it's got these beautiful resin temples and, and these custom oh, wooden meeples for every character. And every character you can play as, you know, every color has like two different characters that have their own individual meeples and the wooden pieces slot into each other. It's just, it's really nice components and, and I happen to like the art. I know that, that it may not be per, for everybody, but the game itself. Say it. It's pretty rough. Man. Trash. It's pretty rough because this is one of those games where there's like 15 different variants because it's like, oh, well, if you don't like this generally roll and move game, which is essentially what it is, or, you know, resource it's, farming, yeah. where you're just drawing cards from a deck to get the resource you want, here are some ways to make it actually strategic. Well, maybe make that the game then. I don't get that. You know, just, maybe make that the game. I and don't understand. Like, Why don't you design the best game you right. can design? Yeah. It, it, it's, it's a game that feels like, it's frustrating to me because I feel like there could be a game there and maybe if you added in all the different variations and the, and the expansions because they keep adding expansions that make it more gamery, Okay, but I don't want to have to go through all that before I can actually determine whether it's a game I like. Is you it take I mean? that -ish? <laughs> Actually, there is some take that in it. But yeah, uh, there is. Too. There is. Yeah. It's a and take that -ish kind of game. It has almost a talisman vibe to it. It does. Like, oh, I'm almost at the end of the game. Now I'm just going to slow. Lee walk right till I get the stuff I need. Yeah, this felt like it was like, okay, well, you've played Catan and you like Catan. Here's something that that's like the next, but it's really not. I mean, this game's so bad it put me off from this company as a whole, and I'm hoping because all their games did. look amazing. They do all look amazing, and I'm really have, they, have we got any other ones? There's one. You had that. Wind, Windward came out. I haven't really had a chance to play that enough. Somebody said they liked Windward. Yeah, and then the, there's another probably one. Eric Summer, Age of Atlantis that I've backed. You know, so I look. I, I I'm backed hoping. it too because keep hoping, right? I, I'm um, allowed to be fooled twice, right? Yeah, yeah, but this 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 one Shame is a. On Somebody. Shame on Mike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And everyone, yeah, I'm getting gamery, gamerish. Yeah, I don't know what the right term. I don't know if there is a term for that, but more for gamerati. gamers. Yes, gamerati. All right, that's my number seven. Gamerati. Okay. All right, my number seven is my, it's going to be my, 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 my downfall here. This is the one that I know people are going to go. Here we go. You're wrong. You're insane. And uh, you should be dissociated from anything take that ish <laughs> and board game related <laughs> my number seven pick is dead of winter oh oh i knew you didn't like this no i love it actually <laughs> oh no 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 i don't like it <laughs> no i can't fault you dead on of this. winter yeah, is yeah. an attractive game i love the cover i love every two way that games in a row <laughs> <laughs> well, abomination is from them okay. yes uh i love the style i like the way everything looks and feels the game is very captivating uh looking mm. i like the this crossroads idea of things might just get triggered and happen to you in the middle of accomplishing something else i think that element of the game is excellent and mm. honestly by now should be in like 10 games i don't know yeah. what's going on put this in everything okay the rest of the game I just don't like. Hmm. It's got this pseudo fake semi co op thing that doesn't work unless you pretend you're actually in the zombie apocalypse and pretend you're not a jerk. <laughs> and yes, you have to pretend for both of those because we both know mm. that you got to fake it until you. Well, that was a nice thing you said because you yeah. said you have to pretend to, right, be, a to jerk. be a jerk. Yeah. So That's you're definitely not, not what I said. Um, <laughs> So it just it never worked for me, this idea of, oh, I can no longer win. You know what I should do? <clears throat> Help you guys win by doing some dumb, irrelevant thing to my strategy just so I can claim fake victory adjacency, not in the rule book, just like spiritual win. Like, oh. you... That is what no, he's saying what I said. Yeah, I yeah, you can said pretend this. you yeah. won. Yeah, yeah. That's a secondary victory, is what I call it. Mm. Yeah, which is not in the rule book. It's, it's in my rule book. Just the semi co op thing. I'm sorry. It doesn't work that well yeah. yet in any game, but this is one of the biggest examples of when that really doesn't work. I just, I'm not long, no longer going to help the rest of you win. Why would I? I'm not going to win. That part you were talking about being a jerk? Yeah. I choose to I not pretend I I'm not. I choose jerk. I choose. <laughs> In your face. I, 
I like this game better than Z, but it definitely has paled for me over the it, year, me past too. few years. Me too. Because the one thing I love the most about it was those cards, like you said. That's Forgotten cool Waters. Thing. And Forgotten Waters has yeah. come out, and I'm like, wow. That's the, one, that's the Crossroads game I want to play now. now I oh, got, that, that's a Crossroads oh, yeah. game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That cover I don't like, actually. <laughs> but the I game, you don't. You've told us multiple yeah, times. Yeah, that one I haven't played. It's a bit, I want to play that game. Mm -hmm. I think you would dig it. I, I really think I it. might, too. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I just don't like that cover. It looks like such a scattered mess. They're yeah. like, <laughs> here's everything. I'm like, I don't really want a game that looks this unfocused. This feels a bit... It feels a bit non-streamlined for me now. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. also a little longer than I want <laughs> it to agree. be. And sometimes you're like, oh, I just died. died. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yay. I get all that. Mm -hmm. So it's falling for me a lot, it's actually, also Dead of Winter. It's also very group-dependent, I think. Very you're right. Group dependent. I, I want to play yeah. with non-Zs, yeah. I mean, I don't love, I'll give you an example. I don't love um, uh, Battlestar Galactica. Mm hmm but Battlestar Galactica got that tension of can I trust you, can I not trust right. you, way more. Uh, it implemented it in a much sure. more concrete, interesting way right. than I thought Dead of Winter did. Mm -hmm. You know, so there you go. All right, okay. All right, my number seven, I have a crossover of companies okay. with Mike. Uh, Mike picked their newest game. I'm picking their most popular game. And that's Steamforge, and the game is Dark Souls, the board oh, game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still get about a negative comment on my review every two weeks from some Dark Souls fan what somewhere. What did you do? What did Just because the video game is good doesn't mean the board game is good. This game has amazing miniatures. Steamforge yeah. makes great miniatures. They do. There's no question. That's all. Look you, at that. You get all these huge bosses in this game, and you get to fight <clears> these bosses. And what's not a terrible boss fight, except to get to that boss fight, you grind yeah. in a board game <laughs> like you'll be like I'm fighting I'm fighting I'm fighting I'm fighting I got an experience point I'm fighting I'm fighting I'm fighting I'm fighting I'm fighting I got an experience point I got three experience points I'll buy a card someday I'll fight the boss <laughs> that's really grinding is in a video game I know you get that zone yeah but I'm also not I don't watch people grind in video games right. like if Z's gonna sit there and go I'm gonna level up in Final Fantasy for an hour mm -hmm. I don't sit there and go Hey, it's pretty fun to watch you do this. Right. No! It's a thing he's doing by himself. Sure. In this game, I'm watching everyone else at the table grind. Mm -hmm. It's. Yeah, 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 just move on. Pulling that back. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. oh, it's such a bad, Group long, grinding. boring Group. game. And I feel like there's probably people out there who like the game. But I feel like most of the comments are people who want to like the game. This has nothing to do with the my liking the theme or not. Right. In fact, the same theme setting, the Bloodborne board game, yeah. which is not the exact same theme, but it's very it's similar, similar, right? Sure. I like that board game. Mm -hmm. I this game is awful. I really dislike it. It felt like they put no effort into it. Mm. They put, they had some cool boss fight things, but the rest of the game is just. Bleh. I'll go further than you. I haven't played this, mm -hmm. but I think the video game sucks. Oh, <laughs> oh my word. Okay, it's actually considered like one of the best video games of all time. And I think it's one of the worst video games of all time. <laughs> I have no desire to play it because I don't like games, video games that beat you down all, all right. the time. That's not interesting nah. to me. Yeah, no, nah. I'm, I'm not interested on it. I'll be heard. playing Sonic the Hedgehog. Dark Souls. All right. The publisher of my number six game, I think, is out of business because of Mike's review. No, oh they are known gosh. for having beautiful looking games and well deserved. I think I cannot think of a game that this publisher has put out that I don't think is gorgeous, and they've got a ton of them. Days of Wonder, right? Yes. They're known for beautiful games. 100%. This game is beautiful. Unfortunately, it just was boring to me, and it's a take or it's a push your luck game, and that's a huge crime. This is Deep Blue. Deep uh, Blue was my number 11, but yeah. I didn't put it on the list because I didn't want more than one Days of Wonder game on my list. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Alright, let's yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so, a clue! Yeah. <laughs> He's I, the traitor. I'm <laughs> courting all the cans. <laughs> This is a game I wanted to like because, first of all, it's beautiful. Second yes. of all, I love underwater, water-based oh themes. Right? Look at this cover. I was so Come excited on. to play That's this. gorgeous. And then I heard it's a push-your-luck game. I love push-your-luck games, right? 
It's this, not a push your luck. It's, it's push not, Tom's luck. Yeah, yeah, it's push somebody else's luck. Um, it just, it has, like, to me, the one of the biggest crimes is that it is a boring push your luck game. Mm-hmm. It's, there's nothing about this game should be boring. It's treasure hunting, right? You're diving, and, and it just was so boring to me. I was just like, eh. By the time the game was over, I'm like, what did I do? Really? I mean, what did what did I do in this game? I felt the same way when I played it, yeah. Yeah, and it's a shame because it's gorgeous, and it's got great production and good I, components. And Man, I like everything about this game except the, the, except the, the mechanics. The mechanics yeah, that yeah. Play. A, it was a real bummer. And, and uh, You're right, though. Days of Wonder is tailor-made for this list because you know their stuff is going to look great. Right, right, right. Exactly. And, and, and they've had far more hits than misses. Yes, um, but yes, but this sure. one just for me was a miss. So yeah, I was I was bummed out by Deep Blue. Just did not work for me at all. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I agree with that. All right, my number six um, is pretty much. I I think we can say the company has buried it at this point and is basically forgotten. Mm. This is a fancy flight games uh, release called Discover. Lands oh. unknown. I almost picked this, except I don't think it looks that good. I think it looks very good. Yeah, I like the cover. Great. The cover is great. I think the game looks good. Yeah, but and this came out. I think that looks good. Do you? That's I okay. do. I like it's that. Okay. I like exploration quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think push your luck is nice, but maybe I feel about exploration the way you sure. do about push your luck because I love revealing tiles. Yeah, yeah. And finding out what's there. It simulates something mm-hmm. that you get in video games and in real life, in which I can't see over there till I walk there, right. that I find fascinating. Mm-hmm. And the game, they also sold the heck out of it with the idea of like their unique, the unique system. Each yeah. game <laughs> is so different from every other copy we make. I wonder if they lost money on that, because that couldn't have been an easy production process. I assume, yeah. I assume it was very difficult for them. And from the same time period and the same innovative idea, they got, of course, Keyforge. Right. They're doing fine, okay? This came out before Keyforge, yes? No. They were, like, basically two similar ideas that came out at the same time. I was more excited about this than Keyforge, because Keyforge is like a deck. Here, they're like, everything's different. Yeah. I almost bought two copies of this. At the I, same time, to see the differences. I may or may then not I played one have, copy, and I was like, oh, no. I may or may not have bought multiple copies because I wanted to see how the different uh, biomes worked. Do they you did. like this game? No, I do not. Ah. No, you I do not. You still have them. No, I do not. No, I do not. Because they're very expensive now. You're kidding me, right? I'm really kidding. I mean, I'm <laughs> like super bucks. kidding. Yeah, yeah. These are... <laughs> they're selling them at Is there a word that means less than worthless? <laughs> um, yes, Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually have a joke in my hand, but it's so mean. (laughs) I'm not going to say it. Not about you, about a game. (laughs) You might know what game I mean. (laughs) Anyway, um, yeah, Discover Lines Unknown was a miss, I think, for most people. This is not controversial. This was a good-looking game with a lot of hype that didn't deliver. All right. My number six is going to be... I I said a couple mean things to Z today, but this is in complete support of Z, and I want to clear this up because people thought at the time that we had Z review this game because, I don't know, but I got your back on this one. Number six for me is Ah. Red Busters. Oh. (laughs) Ah. Okay, look, when people said this was, I remember when the review came out, people said, this is not Z's kind of game. Right, right. Tom should have reviewed this. If Tom had reviewed it, I would have drove a car over it. <laughs> I think you liked it probably the best of all of us. I, Which is why I reviewed it. Correct. I, I hate this game. Yeah. And, I, and the thing was, it was uh, like a roller coaster. Yeah. Because when I saw this, I was like, this is Wolfenstein were, the board game. You were so right. geeked out when I read the in. rules multiple times, yeah. which you have to do. And by the way, <laughs> they printed an errata pack for this. And then they said, oh, we didn't need to print the errata pack. Yes, they oh, did. Oh, you did. Um, yeah, the miniatures, though, for this game are really cool. Yeah, yeah. And we got, like, everything. We got mm-hmm. upgraded. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, we were, like, upgrading yeah, it. Yeah. The, the World War II vibe, the artwork. Well, like you I, said, the Wolfenstein theme, man. I was like, oh, yeah. man. And oh, the rules are the rules are bad. So mm-hmm. take that's one thing. But that's actually not why I just didn't like the game. Yeah. I felt the whole game... I was moving noise markers around and occasionally fighting, but it mm. felt really random. I just didn't feel like I was a cool secret agent or a guy blowing people down. I want to be one of those two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to be the guy who walks in and shoots everyone or 
the guy who sneaks around without you catching him. And it was like some weird balance between those. The missions were like, go look for the letter. That's here. Very linear. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, mm -hmm. okay, so I'll go here. Can I go around? No, that mm -hmm. door's locked. You'll make noise. <sighs> yeah, it right. was... Oh, I hate this game. Yeah. So be clear, we were united in that one. I was not a fan. All right, sorry. That's my number <laughs> six. <laughs> All right, so my number five is a little more obscure, I think. I don't know it made a lot of noise, but boy, do I love the way this game looks. This is called Barker's Row. Um, I love the oh, theme on this game. I never played this one. I love one. the look of this game. It's got this kind of like slightly dark carnival vibe, right? And it's Ooh. got these great components where you've got these screen print printed wooden rubes who you are, you've got these oh, yeah, I played this one. What cardboard about? constructed uh, like little you know, what would you call those? Stands. Stands, where you bring the rubes to your stand, and that's how basically your points. Yeah, it's like a take that game. It's a take that game and a set collection game, and it's just boring. It's remarkably random and very, very boring, I found. Um, mm. And and it, I really wanted to I like this look. game. Yeah. I was oh. so excited. And it has this really cool, the score marker should be cool because it's this, you know, the, the, the strength meter thing. Yes. And you move these things up. No, that's actually work. a terrible piece. It didn't work. Yeah. It, was, it was like, it, it, yeah, it was a cardboard construct that just didn't work. And the little sliders that you had to use to move, or you were supposed to use to move your score also didn't work right. I just right. laid it down. Yeah, you oh, had to just lay it down. No. It was a shame. Okay. It was a Kickstarter thing, and you could tell that the production just didn't quite get there. I mean, some of it looked great, others didn't, you know, just didn't work. Um, but fundamentally, oh. the game itself was, it was just too slight, very, very random, take that -y. Um <laughs> I did that on purpose. Um, <laughs> No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Uh, maybe I don't even know if I did anymore. See, it's a, it's a whole thing. I was bummed. I was really bummed about this game. This lo I love this theme. I'll tell right. you, it's one of my favorite kinds of settings. Yeah. For board games, especially. Right. I don't know what it is. I guess I like ambiance mm -hmm. in board games. I I need it and appreciate it. Sometimes even more so than in like a movie mm. or a, yeah. or a, you know a video game or whatever. Because it's a slow burn getting into the world, right? Right. So, so atmosphere is mm -hmm. very important. Right. The story doesn't make up for that because there isn't usually one. Right. Not really, right? I love the setting, the look, yeah. the illustration style. Right. So that to be sucks. Clear, this is the kind of game where if I saw it, I'd be like, ooh, exactly. I'd definitely lean in. And they knocked that part out of the park. I mean, they did a really good job of building this vibe, this world, this atmosphere. The art, I think, is wow, fantastic. This game, I know I played it. I remember playing it. Now that we've seen a picture of it. But wow, thing, I forgot, forgot about it. it right? that I don't dislike you. it as much as you did, but yeah. Uh, well, to me, again, yeah, I disliked it, uh, but, but it was mostly, it was this gap between what I was hoping to get mm -hmm. and what I got. Right? Sure, this list is, uh, is, is very much adjacent to disappointment. <coughs> sure. Right? Was, I mean, we are sponsored by the Gap for this <laughs> list. We should probably point that out. I wish we were. Gap, if you want to talk. Yeah, you're, you're uh, in. We would, they would make me change my clothes. Yeah. They'd be like, ah, oh, sir, no one dresses like that. No. Mm. They'd be like, mm, <laughs> click. <laughs> be like, yeah. call Old Navy, you animal. Click. <laughs> I think they're related, actually. But anyway. They probably are owned by the same corporation. I think they all are, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. Um, anyway. All right, my number five is a game we talked about today. What? In unrelated to this news, mm. because it's getting a reprint, and the original game is called Ad Astra. Oh wow! Was that on your list when that came up in the news? It wow! Came, it, it made my list before it showed up in the news. Mm. It just there. That's why a, you were quiet during the news section. It was just weird, a weird coincidence yeah. where I saw it today this morning on the news, and I thought, oh, that's bizarre. I think it. I think I put it on my list. Yeah, and they're putting it in the Artemis Project world now, right? Yeah, mm. yeah, and. Um, this is a game I bought. I remember this is this is many years ago, but I bought this from a local game store. Yeah. I love the setting. I loved the look. The whole thing looked epic and interesting and just I mean, the scale. Those are those little pieces, the little ships there are yeah. tiny little guys. Mm -hmm. The little planet terraforming uh, you know spheres. They're these tiny little things. So the scale is quite epic. Right. But the game just wasn't that engaging. Like Tom said earlier today, 
it basically felt like Catan. But with more rules. With a mm. lot more overhead. A mm. lot more overhead, yeah. You got to find this kind of planet to then turn in two of this for one of that. And eventually, a combination of two wool and one uh, lumber, and, and not really, but yeah. you turn in stuff then for a point or whatever. It just. A lot of overhead. I'm hoping that the reprint of this. Mm does streamline the entire thing and that they rework it that it's not just a straight reprint with a new theme yeah if so i might like the new one i don't know that's how reprints work is but there a movie called that astra yeah baby with brad yeah. pitt right the pitster i call him oh take that ish take that ish pit -ish. <laughs> um so yeah at astra i was certainly disappointed by it i tried too boy because i spent money on this yeah yeah i bought it without you know this was this was, again a long time ago i was like tom vassal who whatever right. bought it played it i think i gave it a six and then i played it and then i like <laughs> i will like you <laughs> no yeah that's funny that's we've changed a lot in the last like 15 years ago if i got a game that was bad i was like come on and I'd, I'd I would just play it. Here. Yeah. You'd yeah. play and it more. I get that, which is why I understand when people feel that way. Right. But here's what I've found. My mind didn't change. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'd play the game three times. Yeah. And after that, if I didn't like it, right. I would keep playing. Because, mm. man, I spent money. I, got, sure. I had to like it. Mm. I, it wouldn't change my right. mind. You yeah. know what I mean? It just didn't. Game eight is you're like, wait a minute. Yeah, like in the eight. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, now I get. I think they. What do they call that? The when sunk you're, a law, a sunk. A, no, no. When that, when you're the the prisoner oh, starts loving their captor. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Stockholm oh, syndrome. Stockholm syndrome with a game. Yes. Yeah. All right. Anyway, all right. My number five. I had two games that were both. Considering for the list, they both have the same theme. They're both from different companies, but they both have similar components. The one I didn't put on the list, you played with me. Sam taught it to us. was like Ninja Rush or something like that. Mm -hmm. You remember that game? It's awful. <laughs> but this one is Ninja All-Stars. So this one is from Soda Pop. Oh, I've not played this. Uh, and they make... Um, they make really good miniatures. They used to be uh, work. They used to work with Simon. Oh, okay. They, they had like a joint relationship, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. which was right before this came out. Okay. And when I saw this, these cute little chibi ninjas, mm -hmm. and they had dice with different symbols on, I was like, "This is going to be amazing." Right. It is so not amazing. <laughs> it is bad. And here's oh. the problem. Well, those are painted. Yeah, but yeah. here's the problem. This company is not getting better. They did that little cowboy western one. Uh, where you were robbing a train. Oh. And I never played that one, but I remember Melody and Jason played it, and Melody said, burn the game. Did burn they it. Do the, they she didn't was do the so Crossmaster game, did they? No, it's a different company. Okay. That's, uh, uh, anyway. Yeah, not them. That starts with an A. Okay. Um, but I really like how this looked. I read the rules, and I thought, maybe it's interesting. Mm. Maybe there is a, uh, you know, some sort of... This this cool dynamic with fighting? No. It's roll some dice, look to see if the symbols match. You're like, uh, does the wind symbol help me here? Oh, oh that's annoying. Did I play this with you? You did not. You played the other ninja one. That was where we were running all across the rooftops. Yes, 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 right. I just didn't want to put two of these cheapy ninja Yeah, <laughs> on sure, the list. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's this one from uh, Edge also did it. I think Edge is the, and Soda Pop. Ninja All Stars. Oh, and, uh, was Thank that? you to the super chat from Gator Dave. We have a super chat fight going on between him and Alex. What from did Alex Board say? Bloodborne wasn't a fun video game. <laughs> Get good. And then what did That's right, Gator, baby? Then Gator Dave comes. Gator in. Dave said Alex from Board Game Co is wrong, but I believe Alex paid five dollars, so I, uh, he's three dollars more correct. That's he is cor <laughs> corrector. Take that ish. That's how it works. Moving on. Hey, Z, you remember how a second ago you talked about you spent your own money on something and you really, really wanted to like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Technically, I said I spent money on it. I never said it was my own money. Fair point. 
Boy, I spent gone. my own money on number four. Actually, I, buy, I think I bought all these games. But um, <laughs> what a sucker! This this one was a huge disappointment for me. I, I'm still holding out a small sliver of hope that it can be redeemed. This is a whole collection of games. It's not a single game. This is what's called. Um, it's called the Matchbox Collection. Oh, I didn't even think of this one. Um, boy, this just recently fulfilled on a Kickstarter. Oh. These games are to me gorgeous. I love yes. the look of all of these games. I love the components of all these games. I love the packaging, even though there were a couple of decisions they made I would have done differently. But I just think this is a great-looking package. And the whole idea I thought was cool. Hey, these small box games, they have a, a you know variety of player counts, but they can all be played by solo if you want to. The issue is I've tried all five of them. Multiple times. He's, he's almost an apologist. I would say, this game's garbage. Mike's like, well, you know. The, the issue is, Tom, <laughs> I don't know if it's garbage because I don't know how to play the games. Because the rules are awful. They're the worst rule. Almost the worst rules. There's some that are worse on my list, I think. But these rules are so bad that I don't know, fundamentally, if I've played any of these games correctly. Man. This would make my top ten for worst rules ever. For they're, sure. Yes, they oh, are man. awful. Now, they're so bad, and there's been such an outcry that the public has said that they are going to redo all the rules. They've one one of the five games has already been redone. I have not tried yet with those new rules. But look, if how within, does that happen? Right. We, if within a, a couple of months of fulfillment, and let me tell you, this did well. It's not like they were you know barely right. meet their funding goal. They had plenty of money, I would think, to maybe pay a rules editor. They're also not a terrible like. Ten Gardens rules no, weren't bad. No, were fun. It's not like this is no. like this felt like some weird. This was a very odd. I don't situation. know what happened yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, haven't played these and I haven't read the rules. I've just heard this from well enough people that yeah. they had to that they yeah. had to switch them, it, fix them. It's super disappointing. I'm still, like I said, holding out a sliver of hope. I'm still held on to it. I really want to at least try. Oh, someone in the chat said the new rules just came out today. They oh. heard you talking about wow, it. They're okay. like, Mike's top ten list is coming. Well, that's too actually, late. The list went live. No, no. Hey, look, I don't care if they make all the rules better and they're all good. I, a couple of these games I'm pretty sure aren't going to be good no matter what. But, I agree. Um, they still drop the ball. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, That's you've got to have rules yeah. that people can use. And it's again, it's not just me. But they also decided. They put extra Kickstarter little expansions yeah. in the box. Right. And then didn't include the rules. They're like, yeah, go find them online. Yeah, we we'll put those in this online. big deluxe box. Yeah, come on. Come on. So again, gorgeous-looking games. I'm still holding out hope. At least three of them are something that I'll enjoy. But I, I, I'm annoyed that I had to wait for them to actually get cohesive rules. So, yeah. You got? Did you get a set of these? Yes, I actually backed this because we I thought they looked it. amazing. <laughs> they do they look do, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't tried them. I, at this point, I guess I might when they release all these new rules. Yeah. I would tell you to go look from in a dice out of library, but they're not there. Yeah. yeah. I, I gave it to a, a... Someone came by the front door, and I was like, here, take it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. My number four, uh, I think Tom will agree with me. And Mike, I don't know if you've played it. This is also a smallish game with a, a ton of very cool translucent dice called Lucidity... Six-sided nightmare. I, would agree with I you thought on about this, this yeah. but I don't think it looks. Yeah, I don't love I, the I, I, hate I that cover. love the look. <laughs> I actually do love that pencil shading look. Mm -hmm. The entire thing. I like. I do like that style though. That monstrous stuff and the dice are so neat. Um, yeah, this was a captivating looking game to me. Yeah. And then I played it, and the game is just. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing or why. Everything just seems like there are a lot of manipulation mechanics in the game that I'm not certain I understand what the logic is mm -hmm. to get from point A to point P. There's a lot of stuff in between. And I'm, I just felt like, what am I doing? This yeah. is so... Pull a lever to push a button, and when you push the button, all it does is open a door with another lever. I'm like, what is happening? They this weird like nightmare mechanic thing where you flip your thing yeah, over. Yeah, there's a lot of mech, a lot of overhead. Yeah, Again, there's a lot of overhead with yeah. the rules. I thought I kept, I thought I was missing something. We played it, and we were like, yeah, these aren't the rules. There must be other rules right. somewhere. There's got to be something going on. So yeah, 
Yeah, I just found it very disappointing. And this is a small game. It was very much my speed. It looked mm -hmm. great. The dice looked great. Yeah, yeah. it looked different mm -hmm. from a lot of games. Mm -hmm. Most games don't come with this. This many game is cool still dice. being sold. Like this yeah. is an act. This is not one that's out of print. Mm -hmm. And I think it's being sold because it looks. People have that, that like that so look. Cool. I think yeah. I think this was at like even Barnes and Noble and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so. Yes, I saw it there. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Lucidity Six Sided Nightmare is. A little bit of a night. Truth in advertising. All right, I mentioned earlier Reichbusters, and they released the Errata Pack. This is another game that released an entire set of rules difference, and they said, try them out. And I never have, because our first experience with this was so bad. This was a game from Simon, and their stuff normally is great. Great miniature game. Uh, but it wasn't designed by the Simon. It was oh, designed oh, by a oh, Spanish oh, 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 team, oh. and it was just terrible. And that's Besieged. Oh, Sons, Sons of, of Abyss. the Abyss. Or Sons of the Abyss. Yeah, yeah. And it sounds good. This is one of those games where I read the rule book, and I thought, okay, this is going to work. Mm -hmm. You roll dice. You get to go to different spots. But you, you're moving like, it feels like the whole game you're running in molasses. Like, yeah. I need I need to stop these guys over there. I'll get there. I don't even know how you're supposed to win the game on its, on its default setting. Yeah. And it's, it's so much overhead, so much going on, amazing miniatures, cool art. I, I like the theme even. Yeah. And then when we did it, like I said, the designers kind of were like, well, look, you know, we kind of, these weren't the rule, the best rules. Here's another set of rules. It's like, ah, oh, then don't publish right, those rules. Right, 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 exactly. Yeah, I think a big problem was the difficulty. There weren't, like, difficulty adjustments in there, and the game is incredibly punishing. Yes. Uh, I actually own this game. You still own it. I Not, not that I still own it. I bought it mm. maybe two years ago. At a Marshalls, I think it was, <laughs> for $10. There you go. Or like eight ninety nine or something right. insane. Yeah. Um, it's And that was already like a 2.0. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to like figure out. I had to look online. Like, how can I tell the difference? Right. And I already had the, the improved printing. The answer was, did you buy it at Marshalls? You got the second print. You got the good print. <laughs> sure. And um, I know. I mean, I mean, you see people in the comments, like, with house rules and stuff, it's great. Yeah. I don't want to buy house no, rules. I agree right. with that. And Matt, that's a good game for that, me. That's kind of where I'm at with this game. I got it so cheap. It is so cool looking. I play it with a couple of adjustments, and mm. that's not okay. I totally get that. I do it because I do it because I, I like the way it looks. Um, and it is better a little bit, but agree. There, there should not... It's never okay, folks, for you to say, yeah, but it's good with house rules. <laughs> You're, you have to understand you are giving there, you know? Mm -hmm. That's not really what you should be looking at. Hey, you spend the money, do whatever you want. Like, if you think the game isn't so good, but it's a great paperweight, then you bought a paperweight. That's cool. <laughs> do your thing. Uh -huh. But, like, when you're looking at a board game review, that give doesn't make any sense. Yeah. You know? Be like, oh, so I shouldn't be expected if you to have to things. download something. Right. I shouldn't be at. Right. Board games are not fixer uppers. Mm. They're not. They, they should be sold that way. Like, this. You know, put some work into it, and it's a good one. Yeah. As a company, I don't want to be known for that. Sure, right. sure. That's so. a good idea for a company, though. Fixer upper games. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have to take, take that e. Uh Expansion on that? Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. Take that a holic. <laughs> something is missing. You have to fix it up a right. little bit. So, mm -hmm. like, you buy it and you open it up, and some copies won't have the rule book. Mm. Some are missing the dice. Like, provide your own <laughs> dice, sure. you know? Yeah, yeah, why not? That's not a bad idea. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right. Call me Kickstarter. <laughs> All right, my number three is where I might catch some heat. Here we go. Because I think Tom I've been waiting likes for the this heat. game. I think you might like this game. I love it. I wanted to like this game. I love the theme. You know what is one of my favorite popcorn movies of all time? Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Yes. Mm. What did you Tre say? He said Mad Max. Uh, I don't know. I just ran throughout the rest hey, of the movie. Too. Tremors. This game looks oh. like Tremors board game. This oh, you don't like this game? Terror Below. No, I, I feel like this game... It's great with house rules. <laughs> yeah, it might, no, I feel like I need it. I just felt like this game was like super fiddly, 
super fiddly. It's, it's a little like, more fiddly than it should be. It's a be. little more, more than. than I think be. it's okay, but you're right. Yeah. It's a little more than. It's like, I want. I, I mean, look at this. Who doesn't want to play that game? That technically has pieces that I think don't come in the yeah, game. The, the, Kevin Bacon. The, the Kickstarter version comes with the with the, the mini for the worm. Seriously? And the yeah. What I have is trash. Wait, is. wait there's mini... Yeah, you can get that worm. Go find that one and throw it out in the I'm library. I'm pretty sure. As soon as we're done here, we're yeah, throwing yeah. it out. I don't um, got no mini. I'm pretty sure that the mini worm came like, because I actually picked it up at Gen Con. I had, I had backed it at Kickstarter Bro. and picked it up at Gen Con, and I was so geeked about it. I was like, yes, yes. And, and you, it's hard to play games at Gen Con. Yeah. But I made sure to play this at Gen Con the day I got it. And then returned it. And I was like, this was no one. This is one of, I'm like, here, can you take this back, please? Um, I took it's, it to Marshalls. They wouldn't, they wouldn't give me my money back. <laughs> I was really annoyed. I'm like, look, you took my socks back. Um, yeah, no, I, I felt like this was a game where, it's just like you said, I felt like, did we play this wrong? And I had two other people we played. I played it with, and we all looked at the rules. We're like, no, no. And then uh, I played it again. I tried playing it again at Dice Tower West. It was at the hot games table. I think I played it with, with Brent. Oh, now he's criticizing me for pointing at the hot games table. Yeah. Wrong. And, Not hot. And it was... Oh, it was a worse experience there. I just, I was Who like, "Who are you playing with?" Brant. Ah, there you go. Take off two points right there. But Dang. no, it was. Uh, it just look. It's. I don't know that it's a bad game, but for me, it just didn't work. I it, I did not enjoy it because I felt like it was like so much work just to do a little thing. See, you know? I look at this as a popcorn game. I just don't put a lot but of. Make it easy. It just, make make it easy to play I, though. I was thinking of how to phrase this, and I think maybe you you nailed it. Uh, I put this game in a very specific category for me, and that is games that are a little bit clunky. Right. They're a little bit goofy. Like, they're not quite all there, you know. Like Defenders of the Last Stand, maybe, right? That's too big to yeah. qual qualify. I'll tell you which games fall into it. This one, mm -hmm. Godzilla, Kaiju, whatever. Yes, 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 yes. Because okay. it's like... Big, epic, Hollywood, mm -hmm. kind of clunky, but it's like yeah. you kind of want to grab the game and be like, yeah, you're right, yeah. dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. You're not great, but right. it's like kind of fun to play. Yeah. This one, I think, was that gap that we were talking about, sponsored by, that I wanted it so much to be good, and it just, for me, didn't work. Um, I, I was pretty disappointed. I get it. I get it, yeah. yeah. Um, the one thing I thought was super weird is the game comes with, not the fancy one, yeah. but the other one, Cardboard monsters that do nothing and cardboard like rocks for the <laughs> desert or something. You really get bugged by that. I yeah. hate that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you put them around the game for atmosphere. Right. That's not what I meant when I said <laughs> earlier I want a good atmosphere. Right, right, right. Not random crap on the table. <laughs> you know, what are you right. talking about? Like, make something useful out of yeah. the cardboard. No, you could, too. Yeah, it just... Uh, Come on, no. M make a, a coaster. Like, literally, that would be more useful mm -hmm. than... A shape yeah, you, you put somewhere. What's it do? Nothing. To, you could have made something like a little quarry to hold the rubble or something, right? If yeah, you want to do like, something like that. At least make anything it functional. Anything else that yeah. is useful, yeah. Right. Like, like a sandworm. All right. Well, uh, we're going to go from uh, worms under the earth mm -hmm. to murder. You got that segue, Tom? You like that? That worked really well. And um, time travel. Kevin Bacon is in both those things. Six degrees. Six degrees of Tragedy Looper. Yes. Oh, Ooh. Tragedy Looper. Tragedy Looper mm. has that cool anime manga, you know, murder suspect mm. thing where you were trying to figure out a murder and you're able to loop time. I mean, if this was a TV show, and for all I know it is, I'd watch it. Mm. That sounds cool. I like the look. I like what's going on. What I don't like is trying to figure out how to play this game. I also don't like the fact that I may have never played it correctly. <laughs> because right. who knows? There was so much going on. Yeah. It was the wrong kind of goofy, but I'll put up with you. Yeah. That did not want to put up with this one. This game was a clunker. This yeah. game did not work. I, a lot of people like it, apparently. It had an expansion. Yeah. I just found it. The people who like it really like it. I've been offered, people offer to teach it to me a lot. Me too. I've never played it. And I'm always like, uh, I don't know that. I'm, I have not played it, so I don't know. Right. It was just a cool idea mm -hmm. that got lost in the in a mess of rules. And uh, I guess they kept going at it because they wanted to simulate this idea of 
boop, 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 you travel in time and now you know some things. It's basically like the worst version ever of time stories. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like time stories with way more rules and just not clear what you should be doing or what you can do. Didn't work out for me. I thought this was a, a, a huge miss um, for, I guess, Z Man or whoever put this out. I don't know. Yeah. But um, yeah, Tragedy Looper, again, it has its fans. Did well enough to get an expansion. I really don't like it. Even people that have liked it, I've never heard any of them say, this game is easy to understand and teach. <laughs> no, it's, it's I mean? an esoteric game, right? right people who right, like it right. like it. They, they don't go around teaching other people, I think, because mm -hmm. they know. You know. <laughs> right. We'll be bringing this in my house. Get out. Mm. Take that ish. <laughs> All right. My number three is my Days of Wonder game. Oh. Yeah. I almost, like I said, it came down to two, and Deep Blue was, but Deep Blue is newer, so I went, I went old school. Cargo you know, Cargo Noir. Noir. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. I don't like Cargo, Cargo Noir. Cargo Noir is great. It's a really slow <laughs> auction game. Uh -huh. When I saw this, I was super excited. Oh, it's like yeah. it still Days looks of great. Wonder is doing. A mafia game or something. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what mafia has to do with this game, really. <laughs> You're moving ships around and slowly bidding coins and stuff. This was a huge miss for me, and um, I'm not alone on this one at yeah, all. Yeah, this is not as well regarded. Yes. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, I think, was game. actually their first bomb of sorts from mm -hmm. Days of Wonder, because mm -hmm. they've had several since then, but um, even ones that I like. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I liked it. The idea of this, and I mean, played it, and I was thinking, I think I played this with you the first yeah. time I played it, and I was yeah. like, uh, what am I missing here? Yeah, because the, th the theme is cool. I usually like auction games. Uh, yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, it's a set collection auction game where the set collection is very by the numbers. Mm -hmm. It's the system from Mare Nostrum, where it's like all of the same or all different, okay. turn in a set. Right. Yes. That's fine. The theme is very loose, like the, which that's I can it. live like, with. That's yeah. literally it. Right. Mario Nostrum has like everything else going on. Mm -hmm. And then the bidding. So the set collection isn't that interesting, and the bidding is so incredibly slow. Right. You know, bid two. Put a ship, my ship on it. Mm -hmm. You outbid me. Comes back around to me, then I rebid. And it goes and you... Uh, it's like, oh my gosh, this is so slow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was a bit of a pulling yeah. teeth experience. Mm. Yeah. This meme, every up to this point, Days Wonder could do no wrong in right. my eyes. Then I was a little caught. I still think again, their their percentages are yeah, higher so than almost good. every Way other company there. out there. Yeah, so good. so Very there much. you go, Cargo Noir. Mm. Mike's about to say Cosmic Encounter. I'm going to hit him with my clipboard. It is Cosmic Encounter. No, my number two is uh, you talked about a big Come On production that did not work for you. This is my big Come On production that did not work for me. This is Massive Darkness. Um, hmm. This is a game that I feel like had enough issues... The, re the kind of the redo of this came out pretty quickly after the original version. There were Has it been? Out? I don't think it's out yet, though. The second edition is it not? Uh, I don't think the second edition hit this. I thought it was like a sequel, not just a reworking. No, uh, yeah. maybe. But I mean, essentially, to me, this whole system just didn't work. The, the difficulty felt way off. The pacing of the game felt way off to me. I don't know. I I just felt like this was a game that was trying to do something different and it felt like a swing and a miss for me. It just, it felt like the core system did not work. Mm -hmm. Like it felt unbalanced, it felt, uh, like I said, the pacing felt way off, the difficulty felt way, way off. Um, and again, I don't think that I'm alone in this. I've seen a lot of people with similar issues. Um, and you know, it looks great, it has beautiful components. Uh, you know, I'm, there's a lot of dungeon crawlers out there, so it's not original by any means. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it doesn't set itself aside by being original, but they know how to put together one of these big, lavish, miniature-based productions. And this is another one. I think the art is great, the, the, again, the look, but boy, uh, it didn't work for me as You know, I never played this. I watched it being played once, but mm -hmm. I never actually played it. You played it at CMON mm -hmm. Expo. What mm -hmm. did you think? It was fine. It felt like He's another... He's dungeon crawler yeah. guy, though. It was, it was very slow progression was the yeah. main thing I remember. Like, right. you were meant to play a campaign, and you would write down, like, when you'd level up and whatever, right. and it was fine. It was kind of forgettable, yeah. Here's the thing You about had a dungeon this. master, too, though. That makes... I mean, someone yeah, really knew the game. Yeah. Right, right, The main right. thing about this is they have one clever mechanism. 
mm-hmm. the night day right. thing right. or darkness and yes. lit spaces which I think the, that that aspect of it uh, kind of got reworked, rethought, and is actually part of some of the expansions mm. for Zombicide Second Edition. Right, like they've taken that and moved that into other things. That's they a neat did, idea. Yeah, Zombicide Second Edition. You can just play that game, mm-hmm. but then if you buy like one of those campaign expansions, right. you're kind of playing kind of what this a did. Massive zombie darkness. Yeah. You go through story. Like you go through chapters. There's a clock, and it becomes nighttime, and the the line of sight rules change, change at night. Right. So, yeah, I think um, it wasn't different enough from the, their other big games mm-hmm. to stand on its own. I'm it going to play like the second patch. edition when it comes out. I'm going to hope it's good. I will, too. I, no, you're not. You I, can't I, I now. Have, you, well, you've okay, then chance. I'm out. I'm out. Never again. <laughs> Never again. You got me once. Come on. Never again. I'm gonna hold out for massive brightness. Tell you what, if this isn't at Kohl's, which is a for five dollars, uh-huh. I'm out. Wait, we jumped from Marshalls to Kohl's. Why not? Aren't they the same store? I mean, essentially they're the same store, <laughs> if, right? If, 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 I if, could if put Ross thing, in there too. If, if there's you one want. thing you, we know is retail. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna pick this up at Rite Aid. <laughs> um, okay, my number two. I know you like Tom. Mm. <gasps> you like it quite a bit. I like the cover. Mm. I like the way the game looks. I thought it would be an interesting space game. It's hot garbage. <laughs> Pulsar, 2849. Oh, wow. I like this game, too. Dude. I, I need, don't love it. I need to like say it. nothing. You don't. <laughs> um, this game is hot <laughs> garbage. You know, I didn't know that you felt that way when we played it. It's just a bunch of boring math. It looks neat, but the game was so... Here's what I should have known. (laughs) You don't like CGE games. This is par for the course for you. Here's what I should have known. The first time we saw this game at a convention or somewhere, Mm -hmm. they they didn't have a title. They were like, this is the space game we're working on. (laughs) And it was clear that the game was pretty well along at that point. Yeah. And they were thinking that little <laughs> about the setting and the story uh-huh. and the theme, you know, right. and the title. Right. That should have been a giant clue to me that this is not what you would call a sci fi game. It's a Euro through a This through, is going to be just it's a, a straight bunch Euro. of real <laughs> boring, like. Hands of Teutonica, but way, way drier kind of game. Mm. I liked nothing about mm. this. I was so disappointed. It was... Oh, it's worse when the game has a cool theme. Yeah. You know, when I'm playing Yunnan, I expect it to be like a very, you know, dry, like I'm playing... Right, t- right. You know, I'm playing one of those things. It's like, okay, well, the donkey goes up the mountain. <laughs> Uh, it's not that exciting, but all right, this is what I'm doing. Mm. In this one, I expect to be excited. Well, I love. I this am game. not I interested or it. excited. Keep your math <laughs> in the rule book to math class. Math doesn't belong in space. Is Wasn't what you're great, saying, right? In in space, <laughs> no one can hear you add. Compute. You can't get into space without a math book. Okay. A math book. Launch Tom. me math. <laughs> Can't right. get into space without a math book. Tom Bass. <laughs> Put right. that on the box. Kids, learn your math. All right. Um, my number two is a game that Roy wants me to get out of the Dice Tower collection. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Uh. He has asked me, but he and I both hate it. But the fact of the matter is, is I think some people might like it, and it's a deluxified game. <laughs> it's not dwelling Dwellings of Elder Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not Dwellings of Elder Garbage. <laughs> now, this is Downfall. From oh. Tasty Minstrel Games. Oh. This game looks really good. It has a Whoa. cool post-apocalyptic theme. Yeah. But what? The, this game is so brutal that not only is radiation killing off all your people, okay. you're also works. running out of food the whole game, right. and other players are attacking you to the point where you feel bad hitting someone else. You're right. like, you're starving, <laughs> and all your people have radiation sickness, and they're all going to die. But also, I'm going to punch you right in the grill. <laughs> oh my and gosh. I don't like the, the take that itness of this game. <laughs> to, the point, <laughs> to the point where, I mean, it, it's really, it's added on. Yeah. It's just so, 
There's no fun. Yeah. I get that there are hard games and you sure. you go through them and you win, but this is not even a cooperative game. Yeah. This is a competitive game. Yeah. And there's a lot of rules, but man, that deluxe fight version looks really good. Mm -hmm. Has cool ships and all you know, oh, it's so cool. But there is definitely a level of punishment in games that goes too far for me. There are certain games I, I don't mind if games have elements of being punishing, right? Especially mm -hmm. if it fits into a theme and and if it's equally punishing the players. But there is a line. And and when it gets to the point where it's just like you're not having any fun. You know what I mean? That's when That's where this one is. And this designer yeah, yeah. here is one of my favorite Johnny yeah. Claire. I love Space Base. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Right. Uh all the fun in Space Base, they borrowed it <laughs> from Downfall. Right. He was like, I want to make Space Base so good. I need to make another game that's also decent, take all the fun out. <laughs> now Space Base is twice as fun, oh. but that game is just a poisonous fruit. We will sell the remains. <laughs> <laughs> the leavings. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, I haven't played it. It I'm looks not. it looks a little big mm -hmm. and sort of epic for me, maybe. And if you're saying it's It's not as big an epic punishing. as it looks even. That's the thing. Yeah. You like you never even get to create a big empire because it's like Oh, I'm gonna start blah 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 blah. <laughs> like, oh, what's man. going on? Wow. There's that, oh, the, the one good thing there's a there's a kind of cool card mechanism in it mm. where you are using cards, but then they pass around to other people. So if I keep using this one card, I might not get it anymore. Right. Okay. Depending on whether it's passed back to me. Okay. And there's secondary actions and primary actions. I thought that was interesting, but also I was dying so much I didn't care. <laughs> yeah. I I usually in games have a lot of fun doing the. Ha <laughs> ha! Right. To you. In this game, I felt like the biggest jerk. Yeah, like, I what? You know what? We're just going to curl up and die because beating you down while you're curling up and dying right. feels worse. We're going to at least die with some dignity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound fun. Hmm. All right, well, my number one game is a game that you sure can't fault the production. Well, actually, so no you, crossovers. No, 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 you can fault the production. Let me take that back. You can't fault the way it looks, I think. You, and I also don't think you can fault the IP. Um, this is, to me, the most user-unfriendly game that I have ever seen in my life. Hang on, hang on. I want to I try to guess. And it's not even close. User-unfriendly game? And I just talked about games I didn't even know how to play it because I couldn't t read well, the Well, you rules. like Tang Garden, mm -hmm. so it can't be that. That's no, no. very user-unfriendly. Um, not that bad. How new is this game? It's new. It's within the last five years. Give me the company. Uh, well, that's a tricky one because multiple companies kind of came together to work on it. Conan? It's, you're really close. Batman! Batman! Batman. Gotham that was City. me. That was me. I'm yeah. taking credit for that. Uh, yeah. You didn't say Batman. Gotham City Chronicles. Uh, I'm, I'm Batman. Look, I learned this game the best possible way you can learn it. From someone the designers. Else, someone else bought and paid for it with their own money. When I showed up to their house, it was already set up on the table. Mm -hmm. He had learned the rules as well as you can learn these rules. Taught it to everybody at the table. Also in the top ten worst rule books of all time. Right. <laughs> it's, it's just... At the end, I'm like, okay, okay, I think I see what's going on here. And I never want to be, I, I, I was just like, you're no longer friends with that person. And you Correct. like Batman, right? And I love Batman. I Kay. love the DC Universe. I thought it looked amazing. It was so user unfriendly. It was yeah, like yeah. the horrible iconography, just icon soup and no real explanation. And then I looked at the rule book afterwards. It was a mess, man. This is a that's mess. After Conan, right. that's the problem. And right. they already did this with Conan. You remember that? Yes, Conan we said, oh, good. They're going to make the rule book good this time. They were like, we know. <laughs> We right. messed that up. The yeah. that was more than that. We got the rule book. We did a preview of this. They sent me the rule book. And I was like, I can't understand this rule book. <laughs> so we talked back and forth over email. Right. And I figured that would be at least some clue to them. Yeah. Man, and there's, it, this is such a missed opportunity. I mean, what a great IP. I mean, what great looking components. This is a game I honestly, after we played one time, I never thought, I literally never thought about again. Because yeah. it was like, well... That didn't work. Yeah. So swing and a miss again. Right. You know There's what I mean? There's some great ideas. Moving on. I love that whole river uh. system. I mean, it, it's... This is another one I might take out of the ACR library because it's taking up two giant boxes right. for one. And two, I don't think... I think what's going to happen is people are going to pull it and they're going to look at it and go, hmm. That's cool looking. And they might even get as far as setting it up. Then they'll be like, you know what? We could play something else. Yeah, I mean... Uh, after... You should put this in the downfall box. <laughs> <laughs> 
keep all of it. Uh, in one, uh, yeah, this this is it's a shame, man. It really is a shame, and and I honestly, considered this one too. It's hard. It's hard my to, list. to excuse it, right? Because mm -hmm. so much money was made on this. Hire a rules editor, right? There are people that do yeah, this for got, a living. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Come on. And then test it. And right. if the rule book doesn't work, Blind play test hire it. another Many rules lawyer, yeah, which I gotta, think you, you can do, do when that. you make millions and millions. Right, right. You got to so blind test it. Give people the rule book and no input. Right. It's like, go play and just watch. You know, how many people got this game, were super excited about it, and then we're absolutely frustrated because they're like, I don't even know what to do with this, right? It, it, you shouldn't have that experience. Mm -hmm. You really shouldn't. So, yeah, it was disappointing. Beautiful, though. <laughs> beautiful. All right. Well, my number one is um, quite a beautiful game, but there's one thing I really don't like in board games. What you We, we, we mentioned it earlier already. What's one thing that just generally in board gaming... I find it anno annoying, Mike. Yeah, loose, un unclear Loosey, rule. goosey, yeah, yeah. lack of precision yeah. in whatever it is you are right, doing. Right. This game's mechanisms are kind of about that. Mm. It's as close as you can get to that right. without being a miniatures game. Oh, okay. Okay? Gotcha. And it is gorgeous looking. I saw the cover, I learned the theme, and I thought, this is, ma I mean, this is going to be perfect. Mm-hmm. Vincent Dutre. Oh, I know exactly what this game is. Treasure Island. Treasure Island. No, man, I just was telling someone how good this game was on and Tuesday night. And you were lying to their <laughs> face. I told them it was worth getting. I said, Z doesn't like it, but I like it. And I did. I said, Z doesn't like it because it's imprecise. That was my That's exact words. I still got to play this game, actually. I have not played it. This is a gorgeous game. Look uh, at this cover. I, I like it. I it's so cover. pretty. I love this that is what board. the Yeah, the board I would hang on the wall. Yeah, it's but gorgeous. But what you are doing in the game is finding some spot that someone picked, which is where they're hiding or whatever, yeah, or where they the bury treasure. their treasure. Mm. And so you're using <laughs> rulers and compasses and making circles and drawing lines and splitting the board and being I'm like... I'm that Z doesn't like math. <laughs> is it in this area? I'm actually pretty good at math. Is it in this area? Is it inside this circle? And you just better hope and pray you don't draw right over where they picked. Because there's no grid, there's no pattern. You pick like a spot of paint on the cover on, on the board and if you draw over it or near it you're like yes it's in there it's inside the circle I'm going to say it is inside. It's like, come on. Well, you're supposed to. If it's anywhere near, you're supposed to say yes. I it. hate that rule and everything it represents. Uh, I really like this game. I hate rules I, like that. I think if you can't make up your mind, this. do the thing that's worse for you. How about you write better rules? <laughs> no, whatever. This game is specifically... Better rules. Um, no, I really don't like this kind of game. I know that, too, and I really was so disappointed because it looked so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. But, man, the game was just so disappointing. There, It's a this weird, where is Waldo with a bunch of rules? It's like you can spend this to split your option, and then, yeah, just all the... The whole map looks like a I, bunch of garbage I when you're done. I don't disagree that there should be a couple fewer rules in the game, but I like that imposition stuff. I think it's fun. In oh. that game, it's specifically about that. No, I don't like it. I have to try it. All right. My number one turned me off from the entire company. Oh, Even though I recently bought another game from this company, despite me not liking the company, and that one also was not amazing. It was okay at best, and I think it's on the People's Choice Top 10. But Oh, my. This one has pre-painted miniatures and is one of my favorite video games from when I was a kid. That is Mega Man, the board oh, game. Yeah, I figured from this might Jasko. be your list. I haven't played it, but I've heard so many oh, <laughs> This box, first of all, one of the seven deadly sins is the guy who wrote the time on the box because he lied. Oh, I think how it says like, it like I think they said something like an hour to ninety minutes. This game is four hours or something. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> you move so slowly mm. in this game. Playing, uh, have you played Mega Man ever? Like any of the any yeah, of the yeah. version of Mega Man? It's not slow. It's not a slow game. Right. You're like right. not like. Oh, what should I do now? You don't got time to think right, that. Right, right, right. And that's that's what this game does. The, those, it looks great though. Yeah. It really does. Oh yeah. Jasko knows how to physically produce a game. Mm hmm. They need to find someone who can design one. <laughs> that did not happen here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. oh. yeah, you make games that look this good, then just only make them then. Right. Why not? Partner yeah. with someone who's got a good track record, but maybe their productions aren't so good. 
Right. Like become, I, a, become a mega, you know, sure. a juggernaut. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I said, I went by how much I liked indifference at the end. But while some of the games I picked, you know, people have different opinions on, yeah. this one is universally destroyed. Right. I think it's in the bottom thousand games on BGG, or yeah. maybe in the bottom hundred. It's yeah. that low rated. Wow. It's, yeah, it's not, I've not heard anybody that said they've liked it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, man, I'm just getting mad looking at this. So, <laughs> All right. Well, we foolishly asked the people <laughs> to do their ah. top ten. And I think people were like, I'm just going to pick a game that everyone else likes and uh -huh. smash on it because I'm just going to flat out say most of these are wrong. But let's take a look at them All real right. quick. What did the people I pick? These, I didn't though. put them in any particular. Oh, no, we did put them in order. All right, I don't. All right, right, what well, do we I got? I like Samurai Spirit. All right, so Tennis Street oh, Fighter, <laughs> also <laughs> Jasko. All right, Nine Fighter. Unstable Unicorns, I don't know what people were expecting. Eight yeah. Tang Garden. I don't, I disagree, but I understand why people say it. Seven Wingspan. No way. Come on, no boo. Way. No nah. way. Six First Martians. I get it. Sure. Yeah. Five Batman. Yeah, yeah. Four Photosynthesis? No, it's me. You must just not like the game. Yeah, I mean, mean. Uh, three Talisman. Fair. Okay. Two tapestry. No, I don't buy that one at all. <laughs> no, I get that. I get that. That was a disappointing. It, the hype is hype is part yeah, of this. Yeah, that's true. That Especially is true. if you look at number one, hype is a big right, part of it. Right, right, right. If this game had Seafall. not been hyped, it still would have been like, oh, it's not good. Yeah. But it wouldn't have been that fall from grace that it was. Sure. It's unfathomable. Mm. I didn't put Seafall on my list because I don't think it looks that great. Let's see what you did there. Yeah. Do you that, think I, I didn't put Seafall on my list because I didn't think Seafall looks that great. That's why it wasn't on my list. I think I mean, it, it looks, looks all right. Eh. And I think the hype was, you know, yeah. huge. Sure. But I, I didn't look at that and go, oh, I got to get this game. I thought, mm -hmm. oh, I'll play that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alrighty. Well, there you go, everybody. I'm sure the comments will come. Let us know your thoughts on these games, in your opinion. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Our next top ten list might be positive, or we're going to roast Eric Summer or one of the two. Let's I'm make not it sure. happen. Let's make it happen. Let's just do it. Um, that's our last top ten until the Summer Spectacular, but that's coming two weeks from, Tuesday, from this past Tuesday. Not too far away. We're going to be playing games live. We're going to be doing lots of fun things. Uh, we still got a full schedule next week, though, with um, Q&As, board game breakfast, and all that. We'll see you then. And we got more videos going up over the next few days, too. Yes. All kinds of stuff. So until then, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. I'm Mike Delicio. Have fun. Take that in. There you go.